Hey guys, it's me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to another one of my Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battles. It's been a while, I know. Uh, Mario Kart has been sort of dominating my gaming life recently because it's so much fun. But you know, I had this battle against Pokemon Gravager. If you um, haven't subscribed to him already, please do. I'll leave a link in the chat uh, in the description of this video uh, for you to check out. I'm not actually sure how many subs he's at. He was near 100 last time I checked, so uh, help him push past that 100 mark. That'd be really nice. Um, it's a PE battle I have, and uh, basically we bought pretty fun teams. That, that was pretty much the only rule other than it's PU. Um, and it was live on a stream as well, so some of you might have seen this. He's also uploaded his side of this, so if you're intrigued by any of his plays this game, make sure you go check out his side of this battle. Anyway, he starts off with Fro, and Fro is a major threat in PU. And when I say fun battle, I think I've bought fun Pokemon. I think that was kind of what happened. Um, I bring in my... Um, Ivysaur, because if he wants to go for a knockoff, I know I have an Invilite, but I don't really mind too much if he knocks it off, because uh, one, I like to have, I like to play ultra offensive anyway, and two, Ivysaur's pretty bulky without it in this tier, so I'm, I'm fine. I get a Leech Seed off, I don't want to Toxic this thing, I don't think, because he might have Guts, and Guts throw with an Assault Vest isn't exactly the nicest thing to have around on my opponent's team, so he actually swaps out to Shift through here, I decide I want to put him to sleep actually I think, um, and he predicts that nicely with bringing in Shift tree. now he can go for the extra sensory and kill me off, so it reveals he's especially attacking one with extra sensory, very nice, most of them are normally special attacking, but a few are physical with Seed Bomb, Knock Off, Sucker Punch, moves like that, so uh, Shift tree is like a very versatile Pokemon that can catch you off guard really easily. Anyway, I bring in my Choice Scarfed uh, Fracture, which is so powerful in this tier. I go for the Dragon Claw because I don't want to lock myself into Outrage, but I really should have just gone for the Outrage, and I might have been able to have taken out this Shift Tree, and he just goes for the Foul Play. So he's a mixed Shift Tree, which is just like, what what the hell? What is up? Anyway, I bring in Pikachu here, completely forgetting one that this thing can uh, get, get Sucker Punch as well, so I'd have probably died to that. And two... Uh, Pikachu isn't the most, uh, or the bulkiest Pokemon around, but I do outspeed and I do get taken out of Brick Break, which is nice. So that's kill number one for Pikachu this battle, just keep an eye on him. Um, anyway, in comes Persian, and I'm going to switch out because I know he's going to probably want to go for the fake out U turn combo, and Pikachu probably can't take that. So I go into Hypno as my Ivysaur is dead. I didn't really think about keeping Ivysaur around for this thing, it would have really helped because that fake out does so much damage. Life Orb and Technician. Um, Persian is something not to mess around with in PU, it really does a good job, at what it does anyway, it can't really do much else. I've run a specially attacking one with Nasty Plot, it doesn't really do much. But here he goes for the bite, and with Technician Boost, that is definitely going to be able to take me out, probably would have taken me out even without it, because I have no defensive investment, especially defensive in HP. Uh, anyway, I bring in my own Persian, actually, so the talk of the devil, uh, this is my own special attacking one, so he's obviously afraid of the fake out here, so he brings in Fro, and I think I go for the Nasty Plot predicting the switch, which I do, but I completely forgot Fro was around, so um, I can't really do too much. I go for a Swift here. Assuming he is Assault Vest, this probably just, this actually does quite a lot of damage. That is Technician plus two, So uh, and Persian doesn't have a very high base special attack, so it's not too bad, I guess. He goes for the Storm Throw and gets a critical hit, obviously, because Storm Throw has a 100% critical hit ratio and takes out my Persian. I figured Persian wasn't the most threatening thing on my team. Now, I bring in Meowstic here. It's the first time I've used the female Meowstic in PU, and it's actually a really, really nice, fast special attacker in this tier. There aren't many Pokemon that can fulfill this role as well as Meowstic without a Choice Scarf, because I think his speed is like base. So I have a base 111, 116, or 121, or 122, something like that. So uh, it can outspeed most of the tier, which is nice. Anyway, in comes Persian. He gets the fake out, and based on that damage, I won't be able to take another fake out after Life Orb, but he switches out because he's not sure whether he's faster or not, and I'm not actually not, not sure. I'm pretty sure Persian's naturally faster. Persian's really quick. Um, but I go for the Psy Shock, uh, and it does so much damage to this Mr. Mime, considering it's not very effective. And uh, it's only Life Orb, and I'm max speed, so yeah, I mean, that kind of shows the power of this female Meowstic. And Thunderbolt kills because of a critical hit. That probably did matter. If it didn't, if I didn't get a crit, it would have probably done the same amount of Psy Shock. So that Thunderbolt was nice. He brings in his uh, Wish Cash here because he's seen Psy Shock and Thunderbolt. Meowstic actually gets Energy Ball, so that's just a straight up dead Wish Cash. Unless I was facing Wish Cash again um, in my PU tournament final. Thank God that thing's gone. No one likes that thing. 
Anyway, I take out this uh, Wish Cash, and it does... I mean, I'm taking down two Pokemon now, which is nice. Now he can bring in his uh, uh, Persian and just fake out and save kill. But Meowstic done a good job. Took out two Pokemon, so... Uh, or was it three? I can't remember. Two of... No, three. He took out Fro. He took out Wish Cash, and he took out... Um, I've forgotten what it's called. Mr. Mime, that's the one. So, um, Pikachu Gun's back in. And he doesn't think he can take me out of any moves he has. So he just goes into his uh, King Lago for the Brick Break. I'm Light Ball, so I can obviously swap my moves around. And I was kind of thinking this thing would be Scarf, but it's not. So I just go for the straight up Bolt Tackle, because I'm a physically offensive Pikachu. Bolt Tackle looks goddamn nice in this game. Although I did prefer it when it went black and white uh, in the old versions of the game. I'm pretty sure it went black and white, and then he sort of zigzagged across the screen. That was a cool animation, too. Anyway, it's down 1v1, and I haven't got any priority. I haven't got Protect or anything stupid like that on my Pikachu. So this Technician Fake Out is going to take me out. And that was a really good game, Brad. Thank you for that battle. I'll probably need to battle you again sometime soon. Don't know if you're streaming anytime soon. That'd be nice if you are. Let me know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing another Pokemon battle from me on my channel. I haven't uploaded one about a week or two weeks. Like a properly uh, recorded 3DS one. Yeah, you might have seen my final against... Um, Sceptile MC from the tournament, but other than that, I haven't done this for a while, and it was a nice change of pace. Hopefully you guys did like this video, because I actually think my commentary in this video has been pretty good. Other than that, uh, well no, I hope you leave a like if you did enjoy this video, subscribe if you are not, and I'll see you around. Goodbye.